I'm Amira David with your 7 Action News headlines. A driver is in custody after a short chase ends in a crash near the Southfield Freeway. Michigan State Police attempted a traffic stop near Grand River on Sunday evening, but the suspect sped off, cutting through traffic. Troopers say the driver later lost control, flipping his vehicle. MSP says the suspect appeared to be impaired. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan has tested positive for COVID-19. Duggan confirming the news in a tweet on Sunday saying, quote, after two years, the virus finally caught up with me. He says he's experiencing mild symptoms and is encouraging everyone who is eligible to get a vaccine and booster. We are on verdict watch. The fates of four men charged with plotting to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer are in the hands of a jury. Closing arguments wrapped up last Friday. Prosecutors argue the men planned and trained to carry out the kidnapping. The defense, meantime, argues the four were just big talkers. Jurors will ultimately begin their deliberations on Monday morning. If convicted, the suspects face up to life in prison. The global computer chip shortage continues to plague Michigan's big three. This week, in fact, operation at Ford's Flat Rock assembly plant will be suspended. This is the second time in the last year that this plant has been shut down because of the shortage. In a statement, Ford says in part, quote, we have teams working on how to maximize production with a continued commitment to building every high demand vehicle for our customers with the quality they expect. The plant is expected to reopen next week. And a quick check on the forecast with meteorologist Mike Taylor, who's tra tracking a bit of a mix for us. Mike? Yes, that's right, Amira. We're, we'll have rain and snow moving through Metro Detroit. Temperatures will be pretty close to the freezing mark. Around the city, points south, thinking we stay above freezing. But if you're along M59 and points north, just be aware that there could be some slick spots out there on the roads.